Hi everyone, we're going to compose two functions. We have f of x and we have g of x given and we need to find f composed with g of x and we're going to go ahead and find g f composed with f of x. So for the first one, which is the harder one, we're going to go ahead and write my outer function which is f. So I'm going to write down f and I'm going to input g of x. So everywhere there's an x, I put parentheses. And I'm going to input my g of x, which is 1 minus 2x. And actually you could also put it here, because g of x equals 1 minus 2x. So we take care of this side, and I'm just going to use my factoring facts, or expand this. So this will be 1 minus 4x plus 4x squared. Or you could FOIL it out and do it the long way, and just using the formula a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right. Now distribute the negative 5, and then we have the plus 3. Then we merely sim uh, collect like terms. So I'll just start here. We have 1 minus 5 plus 3. So that's be 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And then we have x's. We have a negative 4x plus 10x. That's going to be plus 6x, and we just have 1 of the x squared, so that's plus 4x squared. And maybe it would be better to write it as 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. Either way, these are both the correct answers. And for this one, it's a little easier. We're going to write g, and my f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 3. So when you write down your g, just leave space for the x to input your f of x, which is x squared minus 5x plus 3. So we're going to have 1 distribute the negative 2, and then just clean it up. So we're going to get uh, negative 2x squared plus 10x, and then we have 1 minus 6 is negative uh, 5. So that would be your final answer. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.